Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. See, see. It, it looks something like this. Hey, what's up? Tony from Akai here. Today we're going to go over the Pearl Model S. Before we get into the features, we're going to do a quick unboxing. Inside your Pearl Model S box, you're going to find your warranty card, quick start guide, stickers, charging cable, heat resistant pad, and your Pearl Model S. When you unbox your Pearl Model S, you'll want to remove the blue protective film applied to the top of your scale. There's also protective film all around the sides of the Pearl Model S. And a protective foam between the base and shell. After peeling off your protective film, you might get a little static buildup. Grab a wet paper towel, just give it a quick wipe down. And now that we have the scale unboxed, let's dig in with what's new. First up, we have a dot matrix display, a three kilogram capacity, a custom LLO message, and the ability to upload a custom recipe via the Brew Guide app. In addition to all this, we have some advanced modes we'll cover a little later. Let's dig into the basics. To power on your Pearl Model S, press and hold the power button. To power off the scale, just double tap the power button. The first default mode is the weighing only mode. Set an item on your scale and just tap the tear button to tear. To switch modes, just press and hold the power button. The second default mode is the dual display mode. Dual display displays both your time and your weight. To start, stop, and reset the timer, just tap the power button. Again, to switch modes, just press and hold the power button. To change the weighing units from grams to ounces, just press and hold the tear button for five seconds. Again, to switch it back, just press and hold the tear button. All right, let's dig into those advanced modes. To turn on advanced mode, you can do so via the Brew Guide app. We have the portafilter mode, espresso mode, flow rate mode, and flow rate practice mode. You can also input a custom hello message. All right, now that we have them activated, let's go ahead and jump into those advanced modes. First up, we have the portafilter mode. You can identify the portafilter mode with the square icon in the bottom right. For the portafilter mode, you'll just place your portafilter on the scale it auto tears once it detects a stable weight. Pick up your portafilter, grind your coffee, level, tamp. As you're locking in your portafilter, the scale will auto tear and ready itself for the next portafilter. We went ahead and shot an example at an actual cafe. All right, up next we got the espresso mode. Place your cup on the scale. The scale will auto tear. Once the scale detects the flow of espresso, the timer will start. Once the shot stops, the timer stops. Our next advanced mode is the flow rate mode. In flow rate mode, you have your time, your weight, and your flow rate. Your flow rate is calculated by grams per second. To start your timer, just tap the power button. The center displays weight, and the far right shows how fast or slow you're pouring. Our final advanced mode is the flow rate practice mode. You can gauge how fast or slow your pour is. This can be ideal for barista educators, training new baristas how to brew a pour over. You could suggest to pour between 10 and 20 grams per second. Anything under that's too slow, anything over that's way too fast. Flow rate practice mode is also great for Brewers Cup competitors trying to learn how to pour with their non-dominant hand. 
Our final feature for the Pro Model S is Brew Guide. With the Brew Guide app, you can upload custom recipes and follow along directly from the scale. To access your Brew Guide recipe, just press and hold the tear button for three seconds. Your scale will display a Brew Guide and you're ready to go. Keep an eye out in the Brew Guide app for recipes from roasters all over the world. And that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, hit us up at support at akaya.co. If you haven't already, tap the like button and subscribe. Let us know what your favorite feature is down in the comments. Yeah.